In this video, I'm going to go over how to graph a uh, parabola from the vertex form and uh, uh, how to find the focus and directrix of the parabola when they give you the equation in vertex form. Okay, so first of all, let's go over the standard form of a parabola uh, in terms of P where uh, the vertex is 0, 0. So like in the previous video, that's what we did. And the equation was x square is equal to 4py. And in this case, uh, vertex was vertex was uh, 0, 0. And focus was 0, comma p. And directrix was the line at directrix was the line at y is equal to minus p okay so in vertex form the equation of a parabola can be written as y is equal to a into x minus h square plus k so this is the equation in vertex form in terms of a x and k okay and we can write this equation in terms of p too and we're going to do that too just from this equation this is the vertex form of parabola the vertex is the vertex of this parabola is h and k so this value of h and k gives you the vertex of a parabola okay before we find focus and directrix let's write the equation of parabola in vertex form in terms of p because we need p to find the focus and directrix okay so how we can do that so let's change this equation in terms of h and k so as vertex is not 0 0 it is at h and k so this equation in terms of h and k can be written as x minus h square is equal to 4p into y minus k okay and uh, if i want to write it in like a y on one side and everything on right hand side we can do that over here too so then this equation can be we can divide both sides by 4p and add k to it so that'll give me y is equal to 1 over 4p into x minus h square plus k. You can easily change this equation into this one. So divide both sides by 4p. That will cancel the 4p. And then we're going to add k on both hand side. That will cancel out this k. So left with the y on one side. And 1 over 4p into x minus h square plus k on the other hand side okay so now a is equal to 1 over 4p and you can easily find the p and then vertex focus and directrix. so if equation is in this format the vertex is not 0 0 so vertex will be so vertex is at h comma k and the focus is going to be at h because it's not zero anymore the h comma k plus p so that will be your focus and then the directrix is going to be the line which is so i'm going to write directrix directrix is going to be equal to y is equal to k minus p okay and the axis okay so axis of symmetry is the line which is x is equal to h so basically this is the equation for vertical axis of symmetry remember you can watch my previous video for that too vertical axis of symmetry so when we have vertical axis of symmetry so parabola is either going to open upward 
or downward and it depends on the value of this p if p is if p is greater than 0 it opens upward if it is less than 0 it opens downward so this is the equation for vertical axis of symmetry similarly we can write the equation for a horizontal axis of symmetry which can be written as I'm gonna write it over here okay so when we got horizontal axis of symmetry so when we got horizontal axis of symmetry it is going to be y minus k square is equal to 4p into x minus h remember it was basically uh, y square is equal to 4px when the vertex was 0 0 so now the vertex is not 0 0 so we're gonna write it in terms of h and k and in this case again the vertex is going to be h comma k and focus is going to be at focus is going to be at h plus p comma k and directrix is going to be the line so directrix is going to be the line x is equal to h minus p and the axis is the line y is equal to k so this is the case for uh, horizontal axis of symmetry okay so i'm gonna write it down somewhere maybe here horizontal axis of symmetry okay so those are just the equations now let's go to the problem the real life problem what that will look like so the first problem is going to be they said graph y is equal to 1 over 20 into x plus 1 square minus 4 so graph the parabola find the focus directrix okay those kind of things so what we can do just find h and k compare it with our the equation here like this one you can compare it with this one y is equal to this one so we can find h and k so that will give me my vertex okay so in this case my vertex vertex is going to be h comma k okay is going to be negative 1 comma negative 4 see it's x minus h but in the given equation it's positive here okay that's why it is a negative and this is positive here positive k so in this equation it's a negative so it's a negative 4 okay so that will be the vertex I already graphed this parabola over here using a graphing calculator but we can graph it just to plug in the value of x here and find the value of y so you can graph it using those points but I want to show you how to find the focus and directrix using the equation and that's why I already graphed it using the calculator so that tells me the vertex is negative 1 and negative 4 this is negative 1 so this is negative 4 this point here is my vertex okay so now we need to find uh, the focus and directrix okay so let's do that to find the focus and directrix we need p see the focus is h comma k plus p and directrix is y is equal to k minus p so for that we need to find p here so what we can do we can compare our equation with this equation vertex form over here in terms of p okay so let's go back here I'm gonna rewrite it over here 
in y is equal to 1 over 4p into x minus h square plus k right so that tells me 4p is equal to 20 4p is equal to 20 so I compare this equation with the given equation so divide both sides by 4 so this gives me p is equal to 5 okay now let's find the focus so focus was in terms of p so focus was h comma k plus p right let me write it down h comma k plus p okay so that gives me h is negative 1 over here so that gives me negative 1 negative 1 comma k plus p so negative 4 plus 5 just give me positive 1 so that is the focus and let's find it on the graph so x is negative 1 which is here and y is positive 1 so this is the point so this is the point that's my focus is so this is the focus over here okay then we can write it down here focus is negative 1 comma 1 over here and directrix let's find directrix so what was directrix directrix is y is equal to k minus p so directrix is y is equal to k minus p why y is equal to k minus p we know what is k here we know k is a negative 4 negative 4 and p is 5 here so negative 5 so that gives me directrix is y is equal to negative 9 so the line that passes through this so this line is our directrix y is equal to minus 9 and you can see uh, the distance of focus from the vertex is equal to the distance of the directrix from the vertex and you can see one two three four five one two three four five same so our answer is right so that's how you can find the focus the directrix or the vertex from the vertex form all right so in this case you see p is p is greater than 0 remember if p is greater than 0 our parabola going to look like this it's going to open upward and that's the case over here all right so let's do one more example in this example we got y is equal to minus 1 over 8 into x minus 3 square plus 2 and we can compare it with you know vertex form y is equal to 1 over 4 p x minus h square plus k so that tells me vertex is going to be h and k right h and k which is 3 and 2 so this is my vertex 3 comma 2 so where is my vertex so x is 3 and y is 2 and I already graphed this one too using calculator and it's not hard to graph it you know using the points so as I said you plug in the value of x and find the value of y and plot those points that will give you this uh, parabola okay so we got vertex now let's find focus so focus is h stay the same and this value is k plus p okay so h is 3 and k is 2 and then we need to find p remember so that means before we find focus let's to find the focus we need to find p so let's do that so compare it with our given equation so 4p 
4p is equal to minus 8 okay so that also me divide both side by 2 oh, sorry by 4 therefore 4 is going to be oh, sorry p is going to be minus 2 okay so now let's find focus so focus was h comma k plus p okay which is going to be h is my 3 so we can find it from here h is 3 and the y value of the focus is k plus p k is 2 and p is minus 2 so 2 minus 2 is 0 okay let's find it on the graph so x is 3 okay 2 somewhere here and y is 0 so this is the points here so this is my focus over here I'm gonna write it down here focus 3 comma 0 and this is my vertex which is color 3 comma 2 now we need to find directrix okay so directrix was so directrix was y is equal to k minus p so k is 2 minus and p is minus 2 so minus 2 so this gives me positive sign here 2 plus 2 is 4 the line passes through y is equal to 4 okay so this is the line this is y is equal to 4 let me draw this line over here it's not straight but assume it it is <laughs> so y is equal to 4 so this is my directrix in this case and now look at the value of p P is less than 0 remember if P is less than 0 our parabola are going to open downward and that's what it looks like all right so that's how you can graph the parabola from the vertex form you can write in terms of P and then find the focus and directrix too okay so let's, let me take it the first base so that was the standard equation so what we did we wrote it in terms of h and k we wrote a vertex form in terms of h k and p and whatever equation they gave you to find uh, focus directrix and graph we compare it with this one like in this case and we find the vertex we find the focus and we find the directrix and of course the axis of symmetry so axis of symmetry in in this case is x is equal to h and h is uh, negative 1 so x is equal to negative 1 you see this is negative 1 and you can draw a vertical line passing through negative 1 so that's the axis that's where you can fold your parabola uh, so it will be like same on both side same thing on this problem so it is equal to x is equal to h and h in this case is 3 so x is equal to 3 is our axis the line of axis so x is 3 so here just a vertical line passing through x is equal to 3 you can fold your parabola at that axis all right guys so thanks for watching the video please please again I always says practice more problems that way you'll be good to go Thanks for watching the video. Please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch more videos. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.